Hey, hey, y'all. Your girl, Shay. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so today, y'all saw the topic. Y'all saw the topic. And it is, who are you getting advice from? Who are you getting advice from? All right, so I'm going to introduce y'all. know I normally have, like I tell you, get your snack, get your little beverage or whatever. Please feel free to put me on pause and go do that. But I don't plan to be here long. I just really want to stop by and talk about this real quick because this is important. This is important for your life. This is important on where you're going, what you can obtain, what you can attain. All of those things are based on who is in your ear. So let's talk about who's in your ear. That is number one, we got the jealous folk. I actually got notes here today, y'all, but I don't even know if I'm going to use them. I don't know if I'm going to use them because I really want to speak from my heart on this because I have a lot of experience in this. And y'all know, y'all know, y'all trust me. Y'all trust me. If you come back every week and you've seen me, you share my videos, that means you trust me and I'm glad that you trust me. So trust what I'm telling you. If if I I speak on things from my experience, if I'm not experienced in it, I was trained in it. Because y'all know, y'all know I'm a clinical social worker. So I was trained in it if I ain't experienced it. But this I have experienced firsthand. Just like back in that setting boundaries video. If you need to go watch that again, go watch that again. I put that out the top of the year. Because we're going to set we gonna set our intentions from the top of the year not to go for no mess. So let's talk. Who are you getting advice from? Let's number one, talk about those haters. Let's talk about those covert haters. The ones that are not overt. The ones that try to befriend you, the ones that are always um, around you, always got something to say about everything, everything you do, whether you ask their advice or not. They are famous for giving unsolicited advice. They are famous for always being in your business. They always want to know what's going on in your business. And I'm going to be honest with you, as women, as women, and if you're a man watching this, you know, inverted because everyone's welcome. But as women, y'all know. That we can go through things, especially when you grown, not no little girl stuff. When you grown, you can go through things and not even tell nobody, especially in your relationships, especially there. You know what I mean? Because really, that's a union between you and who you at, right? So a lot of times you can go and not even share what's going on, but your friend can still send something as wrong. Be like, girl, don't even worry about, you know, he tripping or something going on with him. I don't know. And your friend will be like, girl, you already know God got you. You need to talk. I'm here. They're not going to pressure you, but that hater, that hater that want to be in your business, want to be that busybody, is going to be like, well, what happened? Oh, oh my God. And get all the details, hang up the phone with you, go call somebody else. Let's talk. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's talk. Okay? Because you got a lot of that competition within women. A lot of that competition. So who are you getting advice from? And then this is the same person that tell you, girl, leave them. Girl, you ain't got to put up with that. And it sounds like positive advice, but you got to understand, look at their situation. Look at their situation. So not only who are you getting advice from, who one of the people is someone that's envious. I hope I said that right. Cause y'all, I'm, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from the heart right now. So, you know, it's the envious people, but also too, look at their situation. What they got going are they even in a position to speak to you about this, about the subject matter, whether it's about work, whether it's about um, purchasing a home or how to run your home, how to raise your kids, how to interact with your spouse, how to interact with your family. Are these people who have an ideal of what you're striving for? And that goes back to who's in your circle. Y'all know, y'all know, I always talk about your circle because your circle is very important. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's talk about it. For example, I was watching Martin and God came and confirmed for me to tell y'all this today. I was watching Martin. Y'all remember that episode with Martin with um Monique came, Meet Munch and Monique came as Gina's friend and she was this motivational, inspirational speaker. Remember that? And you all remember how she was all preaching this, oh, you be natural. All the, She had weave coming out ahead on the show, remember? And then if y'all have not watched that episode, episode is actually really funny. Martin put in a, a meat munching Monique, I'm sure to come up on YouTube. Anyway, 
She up there, you know, on the talk show with Martin and weave coming out of hair. And then, um, you know, she says, oh, don't eat meat. Don't eat flesh. Meanwhile, she at the at the um barbecue place chowing down on some ribs. That's a funny example of who you getting advice from. Look at their life. OK. And some people may not have experienced what you experienced and they got a genuine heart and it's coming from a genuine place. And those people are basically, basically inexperienced, maybe inexperienced people. But still, you got to take that with a grain of salt, because if they haven't had certain experiences, they may not be able to speak with authority to you. They can support you, but that don't necessarily mean they can give you a whole lot of advice. You understand what I'm saying? Now, trust and believe this. God can appoint anybody at any given time to give advice. God will send an angel to give you advice. God will drop something in a stranger's spirit to tell you about your life. And that I know. I've had that happen. And I've been that to somebody. People are like, oh God, how, oh, thank you. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is watch who you're getting advice from. Then you got the person that wants to control your life. They're overbearing. They're all in your business, but not necessarily because they're envious, just because they're having a hard time seeing you grow, seeing you mature, seeing you, you know, do things differently, seeing you evolve. People can have, be very uncomfortable with that. People want to keep you in a box, but what they don't understand, time stops for nobody. That's why I be telling y'all, be better, not bitter, because I'm telling you, life happens to everybody. Time keeps going. It don't stop. It does not stop. So what that means is your growing shouldn't stop. Your elevations, your next levels shouldn't stop. You know, you should be going from glory to glory, blessing to blessing. That's how it should be going in your life. So some people have a hard time because maybe there's the speed of what they're trying to get to is not the speed that you're getting it. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're jealous, but it's just like, oh man, I, I'm going to tell her this because she needs to know. I need to say this because they need to know. Mind your business. Mind your business. If somebody asks you for advice, by all means, say, and preface this by saying, well, if, it, you know, in my experience or I haven't experienced what you experienced, but if I did, possibly I would do this. Be careful with your words. Because what you do with your words, your words are powerful. They will speak life and death. What do the words say? Life and death lies in the, in the tongue. Lies in the tongue. You can speak life over somebody's situation or you can speak death over it. That's why I say watch your circle. Watch who you're getting advice from. They envious of you. They want what you want. I've been there. <sighs> when I tell y'all, I exhale for real. I've been there. Inexperienced, overbearing, all of that. Okay? And sometimes even as parents, when you're giving advice to children, when you are transitioning from a child to an adult child, child parent to adult child parent relationship you can experience some of that they don't mean no harm they don't mean no harm but they just they just want you to go up in a way that they want you to go but you are a grown adult now you can make your own decisions so I want to tell you this remember who you are and trust yourself trust yourself trust your gut what does your gut tell you to do what does your gut say about this situation Start increasing your self-awareness so you can know and you can discern, knowing the difference between, you can discern who's giving you advice out of a loving, wholesome place and who's giving you advice out of an envious, dark place. And trust me, them devils come smiling, baby. They come looking so supportive and smiling. Watch them. That's it. That's all I wanted to say today. I didn't even look at my cards. I just really wanted to speak from the heart because I, it, confirmation has been coming in several ways for me to share this with you all because you may be going through this too, especially if you're in a state of transition, especially if you're in a state of transition and you go through that uneasy doubting yourself, doubting your situation, not sure if you're making the right choice, those types of things. Be careful who you're talking to because it can either birth something great in you or it could kill something great in you. Whew.
I hope y'all felt it because I did. All right, that's it. That's it. That's all. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be posting on my Instagram this week. I don't know what vibe I'm in. It could be a little bit of this. It could be a little bit of something else. I go by what my energy and, and what my gut tells me to, what God speaks to me and puts on my heart to do. So we're not going to force Instagram this week. We'll figure out exactly what we want to say. Just tune in. You know, I always got something positive and uplifting to say, something to encourage you along your way and along your journey because this ain't no easy road. And if anybody tells you it's an easy road, they lying. They lying. This ain't no easy road. Life ain't easy. Even for a believer, you know, it's not easy. It can be even harder. So just stay focused on your goals. Limit who you tell your dreams to. Limit who you get advice from. And let's get it. Let's go. Better not bitter. 2021 we're winning and this is a way you win all right y'all i hope this message inspired you i hope this message finds you blessed like comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram at the shea l t-h-e-e-s-h-a-e-l-l-e and i'll see you all in my next video be blessed love y'all